let's work on setting up this 40 gallon for the Savannah monitor. Okay, so this here is going to be the humid hide. And what I did is I've got a, a gauge, a humidity gauge, and I cut the back corner of this. And let's see if we can, there we go. And I've got the end of the probe uh, to this here hot glued. Let's see if we can get it to shine in the light. There we go. It's been hot glued into place. So that way it's at the top of the hide and hopefully he doesn't push a substrate into that corner but uh, what this will allow me to do is from outside the cage I'll be able to monitor how much humidity he is getting from inside his cold side humid hide. This is going on the cold side of the cage. Um, you've seen me place the brick. That is going to be his hot spot. So uh, let's go ahead and continue with the build. Okay, so here is the setup pretty much complete. Um, I think I'm gonna add a substrate called forest floor just to ju uh, just to dress this up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so far it looks pretty good. We'll probably wait a week or so before we put him in here to uh, make sure the parameters, uh, temp and humidity is where I need it to be. And uh, then we will introduce the new little fella Okay, setup. so I just showed you the photos of the initial setup of this cage and kind of got the baseline reading of the temperature and humidity of this cage without really doing anything extra to maintain it. Um, we did see that about day four, um, we probably will have to spray this cage down to maintain high humidity, uh, but you know. I might be able to stretch that to five, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. So with humidity pretty much dialed into the way I like it with uh, over 80% humidity and his cold hide and the overall humidity is looking pretty good. The ambient air temperature was looking pretty good. So the next thing we need to work on for this before we put the Savannah monitor in here is his hot spot. Now his hot spot needs to be about Debatably, we'll shoot, we're going to shoot for about 125, and I'm going to use do that using this thing right here. This one is a 100 watt. Um, I do have a 60 watt one over there, but we're going to start with this 100 watt, and uh, we're going to uh, put it in a fixture right above that rock, and uh, that rock will be the his hot spot, and uh, we're going to aim to to get that there. So that's what we're going to do uh, now, and also. Um, I'm going to add some of this here. This is uh, Zoomed's forest floor. Um, I like the looks of this as far as a top layer above the uh, the cocoa fiber. Uh, I, I think that's called jungle floor or something or maybe that's another brand but you know that that coconut bedding. Um, I just like the looks of this better. Um, so what I do is I just I'm just going to place this on top to uh, Dress it up a little bit to uh, to my liking. This will also help in holding humidity as well. So, you know, can't go wrong there. So I'm gonna add some of this. Then we're going to put this on. And then what I'll do is I'll document uh, the next couple days. We'll see if this can get to the, the temperature right away and, and hold it there and we will document that and if once I'm comfortable that I can maintain this environment the humidity plus the temperature the heat uh, then we will move in the Savannah monitor but I have a feeling once I start adding heat that I may start losing some of my humidity that may actually drop but as long as the ambient cage is somewhere around uh, let's say 60 60% humidity and ambient temperature say around 80 and his humid hide stays above 80 
and cool and we can get 125 on his hotspot that's what our goal is um, now if it comes down to where I have to spray too frequently to maintain high humidity I've got a trick up my sleeve to uh, to address that but we'll cross that bridge if we happen to get to it so let's go ahead and, and set this stuff up okay so now that the tank is set up uh, I've went ahead and documented the temperature at the warm end and the humid hide for the next 10 days and this is just going to be a progression of photographs I've taken of each day uh, to show how the tank slowly got warmed up to temperature and you know to show that I could maintain both humidity and temperature inside this glass aquarium. So the first five days no extra heat that was just ambient room temperature and so on day six I did add the heating element which you can see quickly jumped it up to 104 and it took it the next uh, four to five days to warm that rock up to heat up that corner uh, of his of his cage to uh, the temperature that I was shooting for and that was about 125 so now with now with the cage heat and humidity dialed in uh, I shortly added him to the enclosure right after this all right so that is how I have set up the Savannah monitor in his newly upgraded uh, enclosure. Now I know there's a lot of controversy on how to keep these guys and what's correct, what's not correct, but I believe that I've hit all the important parts when setting up this aquarium. We've got the heat, we've got humidity, I do have a deep substrate if he chooses to dig. I've got a very humid hide on the cool side and we have a very hot hot spot uh, on the other side and it's the gauge there says that it was at 125 but if I use my temp gun and really get right underneath the heating element um, it actually does go to 135 so it's actually a lot warmer than what that gauge is showing but that gauge isn't right there underneath it it's actually off to the side a bit so um, you know he can go in there he can get different levels of heat as he needs it and uh, quite honestly I haven't yet really seen him uh, use that basking he is actually underneath the rocks right now uh, a lot of times I see him right here on this log and I've tempted that log after he's gone and you know doing what he's doing. Uh, that spot that he, I've seen him set at a lot is about 105 so you know he has the options if he chooses um, and I guess that's the most important part is you know he has the ability to choose for himself what it is he needs at that particular time. We've got humidity, we've got heat uh, so I think he's gonna do just fine and again this is only a temporary stepping stone so I just want to thank you for watching uh, feel free to disagree I'm not saying my ways 100% right I'm not saying your ways are 100% wrong I am doing I'm setting this up with what I have and what I have interpreted uh, to be the correct way of doing it by the means of many different people who have them so and I've kind of put it all together but anyways you know I believe that ultimately I am on the right path to keeping this guy happy healthy and living a long life and that is my goal not to prove or disprove anybody or anything so uh, thanks for sticking around thanks for watching if you are not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button I do videos quite often and uh, you know I just love love to hear your guys' uh, comments on this so I'm going to close this video out with some close-ups of this uh, setup here. So till next time, later.
Shut up and sit down.